lucky that I corralled the president, the man, the, our, our rock star, Mark Dunn, to come to his schoolhouse and see what this is all about. So I'm going to let him say a few words. <laughs> Welcome everyone. I'm happy to be here and always happy to be at Quilt Market. I feel really lucky uh, to be in an industry where there's so many good dance partners and so many <laughs> and, and, uh, and I surround myself with uh, 30 talented and, and creative ladies that, that help make all this work and it wouldn't work without them. And uh, they're all individually very, very talented and, and help us style our line so that uh, you know, you can have good things to show your customers. So I'll let uh, Lisa start and start giving you the lead in for each one of them, and I guess you'll take it from here. So thank you all for coming. I appreciate you coming to Pittsburgh and taking time away from your stores to hopefully get some good ideas, and some good motivation and excitement and fun. So have a good day. The theme of this schoolhouse is called Moda Love, and Anytime we're talking about to people about Moda, they're always like, oh, I love Moda. And so we know we all love it, so we thought that'd be a great uh, theme. We're gonna, each of the designers has been challenged to make the very same quilt. And it really is all about, they're gonna be featuring layer cakes, so that's pretty much the whole theme of uh, this, this entire schoolhouse. But it also, a lot of times when we've done things with jelly rolls or the charm packs or mini charms, you really don't get to see all of their fabrics in it. Um, so this really will showcase their fabric, show you a lot more, and uh, maybe you'll take a look at a designer's fabric that you know you haven't looked at before and just show you all the diverse ways. Now we did give them one simple quilt to make and you know how they are. They are sisters but also very, very competitive. So feel free to cheer for the ones that have really gone overboard and you know. <laughs> So, um, actually, <laughs> we're, we're going to start with Joanna from Fig Tree. Yeah. Just give, give me a second. So, Lisa asked us this. If you guys follow our schoolhouses, you'll know that Lisa gives us an assignment each time, and each time blah, blah, we blah. screw it up. <laughs> she tells us to do something small, and we do something big. She tells us to do something big, and inevitably, half of us will come in with something tiny. We'll wait for it until the end, and then we'll spend 10 minutes explaining to you how we only had time to make it into a pillow or this or that, right? Yes, we always do. So anyway, we were asked to use uh, basically a layer cake of our collection, and I think it's like two and a half yards of background fabric, and basically then make it our own. So of course, that make it your own part, I didn't pay attention to that part, so I just did the basic thing. And this is my new collection called Somerset. And that's the pattern that you will all be doing. And for my collection, I have the one really dark fabric in there, and so we decided to put those all together in the center, and then put all the accompanying fabrics around on the outside. Um, and then we decided to put the Moda Snuggle on the back, Yummy which is back. one of my favorite things ever. My quilter loves, she ran out of one color and put another one in there. But um, I love the way that it shows off the quilting and the way that it feels. These are the ones that my kids fight over. So I try to put them on as many backs as I can. And since I didn't do the, you know, with the make it your own, I thought I would distract you by throwing mini charms. <laughs> Camille and Julie and all sorts of people have been doing online and we've done minis of some of our most popular patterns and that's our mini cherry pie and mini canned pears so these are all basically miniature versions of patterns that we have also in regular size this is from our book that we did called with fabric and thread and that's uh, from a couple years ago it's a pattern in there called blossom 
And that's that pattern in um, a multicolored version and also in a single colored version. And it's that way in the book too. It has a multicolored version and, and a two color version. It's one of my favorite quilts. And this one, the mini came before the large one. It's called Stitch. Aww. Little mini sewing machines. And we're gonna be doing a standard version of this pattern in the summer. But we couldn't wait with the little one, so we showed it first. As I said, I'm Sandy Jabe from Pieces for My Heart. And um, my new line of fabric showing at Margaret will be called Rambling Rose. Um, it's chocolates and grays, teals, and uh, kind of uh, orchid color. Kind of an old fashioned look. Kind of reminds me of a tea party or a garden party. <laughs> And you can see this fabric in the motor booth. And there's always every market, there's at every school house, everybody always talks about the emails and how, you know, there's always some misunderstanding with the email. And it, trust me, it's not the sender of the email, it's the reader of the email. And we received the email and there was a, a quilt block. And for some reason in my mind, since we've always done smaller projects for schoolhouse, I had in mind it was like just a small little quilt. And we always wait till the last minute to do the schoolhouse because we have to get everything else done. And I designed the quilt, and still in my mind, because maybe by that time I had no brain cells left, I still wasn't thinking it was a very big quilt. And we kind of had to do it in pieces and parts to get it done. Somebody did the heat and bond, somebody was doing the center of it, somebody was doing the flying geese, somebody was making the four patch. And when we put it all together, it was 120 by 120. <laughs> Sandy's going next with me. Oh my gosh. So it, does, it is nice to make pieces of fabric. <laughs> and when you do it as a team, it doesn't take that long to make. <laughs> and I'm doing a fall trunk show in my hometown this um, fall outside, and I thought, well, that would be great for outdoors, because in the great outdoors, you need a great, a great big quilt. A tent. <laughs> um, I'll need to hire a crane to hang it, but it'll be nice. <laughs> So that's my schoolhouse project. And this is just one of the quotes that I made out of the um, line of fabric. It uses a jelly roll plus the yardage for the background. And uh, that background, which is this, you want to write this number down. Number 17791-11. You will need to order many bolts of that line, or of that skew, because I've used it in all the quilts that I have designed that are in my booth. It's a great background fabric, and I kept running short, so you need to, you need to order lots of that. That quilt alone, I think, took like six and a half yards of that skew. Okay, next up, Kathy Schmidt. About this size. <laughs> so this was a real challenge. I had to go down in our basement. Oh, wow. We had a floor to lay these all out, and but it was it was kind of a fun challenge. And I like that you can actually see the fabrics. And this fabric line is called Patchwork Garden. And uh, one of the lines you can see in this corner here, uh, um, like writing and little drawings of little garden themed things. And then I just added some really simple applique to make it my own since. That was the, the chore. The chore. The chore. <laughs> yeah, it's not chore, the joy. The joy. <laughs> so all the colors in this line are red, and, and there's two shades of red, and then several shades of creams and, and ivories. And, um, and then I've also done, uh, I don't know if you uh, know, I have done some uh, block of the month, small little embroidery. And so I did another one. This one I used the fabric line for, which is kind of nice because you can get all the fabric in advance, and they all have a very similar theme to them. So these are all in red work. This one's October. It's called the uh, something, boo, something, boo <laughs> cat. And that's a uh, tweet home for June. I just brought a few of them. And they all hang on these, those nice little Actel wire hangs, hangers, and Santa. So there's 12 of them. And then I also designed it as a block of the month in a quilt. So a couple different choices if you have customers. You want to, I was trying to appeal to every kind of customer base. So 
if you have customers that just want single patterns as opposed to block of the month or the block of the month as opposed to individual patterns. And then I had did one more block of the month. Um, this one's called Garden Home and it has six applique and embroidery blocks. So um, even though I'm not really good at applique, I, I use the fuse stuff. But by doing embroidery embellishments, it really adds a lot to it. So, and that was really fun to do too. And my piecing is getting much better. Don't look too close, but it is getting much better. <laughs> I followed directions this time, almost. Once I started laying them all out, it was way too much fun. And my line was called a la carte oh my with God. border. So I had to sneak the narrow border in, in place of half square triangles. So that <coughs> strip equals half of a triangle. And then it got bigger because I had to put the border all around the outside edge. So this is called a la carte. It's red, yellow, blue, and green, all my favorite colors, just like opening a brand new box of crayons and you can just play and feel French. I just felt like I was living in France. Where I collect little diaries. Um, it's a quilt or a journal and a calendar, but they produce them once a month with pictures of France, and all the boxes are lined up. I've been collecting since 1999, and all those fabrics look just like these fabrics. Oh, so fun to have French fabric, but not have to pay $50 a meter. <laughs> Way more fun. Um, that was so much fun. Uh, Lisa put out an email later after I'd already done my next quilt saying you could also do it with a charm pack in a smaller version, but I had turnovers, so I did the smaller version with my turnovers. And that was equally fun, and now I think of, I can't decide which one I like better, whether it's small or big. So I squeaked in a little border and then used the checkerboard. Got big checks, little checks, and with this line, I have a pattern for every pre-cut. A fat bundle for a jelly roll for not charms. I missed those little charms, but we could come up with one. Just sew them all together, and there's your pattern. <laughs> <laughs> but way fun. You're going to love this line. It's just delicious. Hi. Hi. So my line, I'm Pat Sloan, and my line that's coming out is uh, one for you, one for me. When I was a little girl, maybe when you did, you were too, or little guys, there's men in here. Did you pick flowers and give to your mom? You know, the dandelions, like all the fluffy? And so when I did that, I would tell my mom, one for you and one for me. So my line has a floral and it has cottons and petites. <coughs> so first I'm gonna show you one of the patterns uh, that's in, that I did up. This is called stargazing. And it's piece pattern. What I wanted to do is um, sort of be inspired by childhood. What did I do as a little girl? I picked flowers, but what else? I laid out under the stars at my grandma's house, and that's what this quilt is about. Um, just being able to, you know, sort of see what's going on in day to day life. I have the cottons and batiks. These are on the batiks. If you have not felt batiks from Moda, they are amazing. I'm wearing a scarf. You just take a strip, six inches, you know, two six inch strips makes a really nice long scarf. Put a seam on both sides because the batiks are, you know, double sided. And then you can wrap it around three times. So I have a tunic in the uh, booth so that you can feel it. So come in and feel how soft the batiks are. So I have another pattern called Little Wishes. And Little Wishes is, I think, what every child does. You're little, so your wishes are small. You wish for candy for breakfast, <laughs> right? Ice cream for dessert at breakfast. Yeah, whatever. So these are, they have words. I have a word fabric that has, you know, pink shamrocks, you know, field of blooms, you know, daisy chain, all kinds of fun little things. I have to have a floral quilt. So I named it Just For You. And all my, my patterns I've done in two colorways. And I've also done a lot of digital other colorways. So you've also I've seen that from your rep, so that there's lots of those di different <coughs> colorways that you can pick. So this, uh, you have to see the quilting on this one if you can't see it from where you are. Shelly McNally quilted this. 
And the other version of it is in batiks in my booth with the beige batiks, and that's done by Cindy Dickinson. They both have amazing quilting on them. So come and look and see what you could put in your shop and have some sort of amazing quilting in that, that background area. The last pattern I did was one that's been in my head a long time. It's not really themed to childhood, except that I did learn to sew in home ec class. Who else did? <laughs> yeah, sewed in home ec class. This is called Let's Go Sew. And Axfeld has done a hanger, and the hanger says Let's Go Sew. And you can see the hanger in my booth space in the Moda's uh, Designer Studio, and also Axfeld has it hanging um, on, their, on their rack. Will you tell them about your sleeve? Oh, <laughs> on my sleeve, I just went to the edge of the fabric where the salvage is, so I didn't turn it under. I just used the salvage and then stitched it down. So and that's yeah. what I, I cut. A, I cut a piece of the salvage and sew it into the binding on the back of my quilts, so that you can remember what line of fabric you used from it. But I thought that's pretty clever for the sleeve too. Yeah, so. also for your labels, you could use the salvage because it's always nice to remember. Uh, Especially if you're making models, you know, well, what fabric is that? I don't know. Okay, so this one I have to tell you how it goes. Wait. All right. So, this is how Shh. Okay. All right. So, uh, this is my um, la layer cake, but it's a charm pack. So, uh, <laughs> I did get the other email that said that I could use a charm pack. And so, I did. Um, and what I wanted to do to make it my own is I did pull the colorway down to just the red and the aquas and the, the cream prints. There's also um, navy and you know other uh, and gray in my line and some orange. But the butterflies, can everybody see the butterflies? Yep. They're dimensional, they're origami. Oh, cool. And so they're double-sided like a pillow. So you turn them then right side out, it's a rectangle. And then you, you know, go around the whole seam and I'm going to do the schoolhouse. I'm not school. Uh, we're doing videos, so I'll do a tutorial on how to do origami butterflies. <coughs> right now, they're just pinned on there, but you could tack them down or you know whatever kind of method. And that is a batik and one of my cottons put together for the the origami. And there's no stuffing. There's no um, stiffness in them, so they're they're fun. Was that just ribbon you sewed around the outside edge? My, cool? Yes, my outside border is a ribbon sewed down and then the binding tucked under. So I really wasn't sure how I wanted to arrange everything and so I thought I would use a mini charm pack to kind of play around with. It was just a workable area that was really nice. And so I made this and it's just, so, I love the minis, they're so cute. Um, and I really just grouped the colors together, and that's pretty much all I did for that one. And then I got a little crazier, and with the charm pack, I decided to make the inverse of the pattern. And I still grouped them together, as you can see, so they're organized by color. And I really had meant to kind of choose between the two of those for my layer cake. And then of course I laid out my layer cake squares and I decided to go somewhere totally different. <laughs> of course, that always happens. So for the layer cake version, I actually wanted it to be a little bit scrappier. So I just, uh, I took 12 layer cake squares that would normally just be plugged in and I subcut them into five inch squares mixed and matched them into a four patch and then just plugged them back in and it gave it this little scrappy look. You might know me from my books. I've written three books with Martingale and the most recent was last, Mar last May, uh, Modern Neutrals, and that was also inspiration for my fabric mm -hmm. line that I'm really seeing with Fonda. So yeah, do the layer first. Um, I pretty much just went with the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I did split the colorways down the center just to show off um, how they work together. So it's, my fabric collection is pretty much neutrals with just a little bit of blue and coral added in. Um, I know that, what's so funny? Are you happy? I don't know. What's the name? Oh, I see. What's the name? 
the collection is modern <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, um, the, it's pretty much neutrals. I wanted, I, with the, the book that I wrote, Modern Neutrals, it's all neutral quilts. And I really wanted to explore more of the neutral colors in fabric. Uh, there's not been a lot available, and um, so it was, it was a good exploration. And I really, really enjoy them. So I have five patterns to go with the line that I'm releasing here at market. And um, I really like them. This one's great for beginners. It, there's no blocks. We're just cutting and sewing the rectangles and squares back together. So it's a great um, graphic quilt. And yeah. <laughs> but also how you kind of design the line into well, yeah, to show the, great, the the gradations of color and how, even though they're neutral, they're, it can be very dynamic and exciting, even without a lot of color involved. They're great for men's quilts. Those are kind yeah. of more Yeah, yeah. So, that. Did that not make this quilt for you? Now, I give that away. <laughs> this one is a layer cake quilt. I call it soiree, um, just because it's kind of like a party in the quilt. There's all the fabrics that are represented, and again, it's really graphic and modern, so it's been a <laughs> So this highlights, this is our new line called Persimmon, and it's with, it shows the orange red, seasonal gold, and the touch of dark ebony blue, which gives you all the fall foliage colors. So for those of you who don't know much about Basic Gray, we started out 10 years ago as a scrapbook manufacturer, which we still are. And we come out with about 12 to 14 lines each year. And then we take our successful lines and then we work with Moda to turn it into fabric. So this was one about, see, Persimmon came out about a year ago in paper. So it's a great line. And that's all I brought. We've got some great quilts also down at our, our booth, but I just brought this one up for right now. So make sure you stop by and see our other stuff. So isn't that a great way how she arranged the colors? Yeah. Isn't that really fresh? Well, we followed instructions and we didn't follow instructions. Okay. These emails, I promise you. I know. Okay, okay um, this is Mary Jacobson. I'm Barbara Groves. We're me and my sister designs. And um, we've had the pleasure of designing for Moda for several years now. Um, we're always in the bright and cheerful color palette. Uh, our new group is called Laugh Out Loud. LOL. LOL. <laughs> and all the prints in the group are named after texting terms. So when you come by the booth, if you can figure out what all the texting term abbreviations are for, I might send you a little prize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, okay we're going to start with text me. And you've all been saying, we want bigger quilts. Well. Yeah. So just like that, you say, what do you want, bigger quilts? <laughs> and this one, we make bigger quilts. This is a fat quarter. This is a fat quarter quilt. Yeah. How many of those do you come across anymore? So that's a fat quarter um, quilt. As you can see, we still stay in our bright color palette, but we kind of deepened and enriched the colors up for this one a little bit to mix it up. So that's test me. Did y'all see it over there? No, no. I didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you for bringing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> our dad used yeah. to do that, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You know, we, we, we owned a shop at one time, and our dad would come in all the time, you know, to see how we were doing. And every time we'd show him a quilt, he'd say, oh, that's really big. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what in the world to say. Yeah. So it, this is kind of a different quilt for you. That is. Yes. That yes. That yes. is. We found an old antique feed sack, and um, I love it. It's kind of a damask print, and uh, we've used it in the collection. You'll see it. It's in a really deep, rich purple and some really deep, rich blue and pink. And it's kind of like this is the sick apple green. Yeah. Our green's a little it's different this sick time. Sick apple. Yeah. yeah. Okay, kind of sick and green called uh, Reply All. Reply Let's all. start over here. Okay. Yay! Yay! Fat 
eight. So yes. second fabric pre-cut paper. Love that eight. And it's another big quilt. Okay. Hey, um, with every collection we've done, it's been kind of a tradition with us. We always have a free project on the website. As shop owners, you're allowed to go on there, and non-shop owners, print as many of these out as you wish, hand them out to your customers for ideas to make a quilt. This one uses a layer cake, and I love it because it uses a lot of the big <laughs> chunks, rich fabrics we had this time. I love it. I love it. mode it gets to my colors because I have to say it's it's really incredible my colors look just like these are the originals and let me tell you trying to come up with another way to do a snowman you know three balls of snow and a carrot after all these years <laughs> how many snowmen have you seen oh, oh, yes. 
But it's about personality, and it's all about the snowman personality. Yeah. So here, these are the, this is the colorway of the panel, and they do such a good job, right? So here's the colorway of the panel, but here are the actual paintings, and they look just like it. And for me, being an artist, that's really, uh, that's a wonderful thing to have happen. It really is. So um, I just wanted to show you that. And, and then I can paint. I can't quilt, then I can paint. <laughs> and that really is what makes it a, Moda Fabrics uh, different from some of the other companies. Is It really is from artwork. It's, there's very little of it that, that's digital, CAD, et cetera, because you can get so many different layers and textures in the fabrics. Right, and, and I'm encouraged to paint away, so that's really gratifying. It's wonderful. So, um, so these are made by Tammy from Moda, and, and again, I'll be eternally grateful. Um, this is with a charm pack. This is my her, the Moda Love from uh, Be Jolly. Sixteen screens on this. Sixteen. Sixteen. And I, I go out and speak to stores if you're interested um, about the process of the design process from taking it from my initial concept to the paintings to all the layers and so if you're interested just stop by and it's really interesting it shows I think a new appreciation of all that's involved and Tammy's back there. Tammy will you please just say hello so everyone knows who did this. <laughs> This is uh, the, from the layer cakes. I love the rick rack. Isn't that cute? It's a nice touch. And also, Coach House Designs. Coach House Designs, does, she also does patterns with my fabric. She does a great job. Um, and if that's Barb, and these are some of the patterns that she's done. Um, she's in 443, and this one she used the blues and teals. She's also done one with the panel, and that's in my booth as well. And then this one is just a little Christmas tree. So, so I'm Carrie Young, and this is my sister Lauren Young. Uh, my mom, Jessie Young, is also a part of the trio, although after the road trip yesterday, she did know some food poisoning today. So she's not able to join us, but we do have all the inspiration uh, sort of to bring to you guys and tell you about the quilts. And she is the, she quilt, yeah, she's the quilt designer, composed all of these, did pretty much all the work for our booth prior to getting here. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're pretty, um, Excited about our new patterns this time. This is uh, made out of our new line petal pushers. And so this is, uh, okay, so this pattern is called wet paint. And this pattern was, so all of our patterns were sort of, I know this because I talk to my mom like every day, I think. So this was inspired by, they had a home renovation. They were tearing down their kitchen and uh, putting in all kinds of new appliances and different things. So as with any home renovation, it went a lot longer and um, a lot more complicated than they thought. So to get through that project, mom decided to uh, make this quilt. It was inspired by all the different paint and you know uh, tile choices they had to make. It's a jelly roll. That takes a jelly roll. Yes, we, we are huge fans of um, pre-cuts. Pre yes, sorry, <laughs> words are escaping me. It's been a long day. Um, the next one is Madeline's Hats. This one was inspired by, I think I was telling a story that went on for too long, and rather than succumbing to the awkward silence, I said, that's all there is, there isn't anymore, kind of like that uh, cartoon that went on. So mom took that, ran with it really far, took the hats, and uh, so that's what that was inspired by. <coughs> that takes, uh, that is a layer cake, yes, thank you. Okay, this next one, another uh, pre-cut. This takes a layer cake as well. These are... Oh wait, is, actually, sorry, this last one wasn't a layer cake. It was No, that was 12 fat quarters. Fat quarters. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. This one, though, is a layer cake, and I double-checked on this one. This is Ring of Posies. 
this is okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know a backstory behind this one. I don't think there was a backstory. <laughs> However, when it comes to our <laughs> when it comes no, when it comes to no, there is no backstory to that one. But when it comes to our assignment quilt, my mom does like to follow rules. So we did follow all the rules in the email. From what I hear. <laughs> And I have called this one for my bed. So my mom did sort of size, size this to fit a full size bed. <laughs> so. And we missed that second email. <laughs> yeah. And, um, oh. I did make a few things I made. I made these books out of our new line because we have a new book, Sweet and Simple Sewing, coming out with Martin Gale this year, so step by our booth, 228, and check out our patents and our design. Hey, so glad you all stayed. <laughs> I'm really, really glad I had a seat <laughs> for this whole thing. I have a joy in my life too. I don't know if you heard when Cindy Gervais was talking about her joy. My joy actually is a real life person who was an RN, so when I gave her the pattern, it is exactly like so this is the new line, Paisley Park. Kind of fall tones, has some pumpkins and browns in it. Uh, we both saw the star in the middle, so we had to do the star in gold, duh. So I thought it was a fabulous idea. If you want to flip it around, Paisley Park's feature fabric is a wonderful country paisley that has little flowers in it, and I just love it. Joy is not only a piecer, but a quilter. In fact, she is a long arm quilter first, and we've had to have some talks about our piecing, but she's doing really well. <laughs> this is a uh, layer cake project. And Joy pieced, I helped, but Joy pieced and quilted this one as well. If you have not checked out our layered patchwork method, please come by and do so by the booth. I've got boards and uh, examples. Those star points are rectangles and squares that have been cut diagonally and slapped on top and stitched on each block, on each segment, not on the top at the end. Uh, but you, you never lose your star points. You cannot mess that up. I guarantee it. Love, love, love the pre-cuts. Order twice as many as you think you're going to need because contrary to popular belief, Kansas Troubles is not the Moda North warehouse. <laughs> okay? I have shop owners call me all the time and say, I ran out of jelly rolls. Do you have some? I'm like, are you crazy? I ran out too. There is no way. So always order more than you think. You can always get rid of pre-cuts. Yeah. yeah. I always like to grab a pre-cut and do the absolute simplest thing you can do with it. Add a one jelly roll, you can get two runners and a pillow. Now, personally, I would keep all three. I know you all have people you like to give gifts to. My family knows they don't get anything for a couple years. Because <laughs> I have to show it. I'm not greedy, I just need it. And the, the one Lisa's holding, the pillow is actually a sleeve. So you can make one pillow, and we have several pillow sleeves you can change for the seasons. Mm -hmm. We have a charm pattern, day at the park. It is a charm and a mini. And again, layered on top. We are embracing that pink edge. We are layering it, stitching it. It makes it look like it's much more complicated piecing than it is. In addition to the Paisley Park projects, we have one more that is a jelly roll. Um, we have a whole new book. Uh, Loose Change was featured layer cakes, charms, and mini charms. But we've had such great luck with that. We're doing another book, not really a sequel, but kind of, because it's all layered patchwork, that uses all the different pre-cuts called Layers of Love. Uh, not only do we put our heart and soul into our quilts, but this one is dedicated to our eight and a half grandkids. And each one of them is featured with one of the quilts and they're named after them like Cooper's Crossing and Roman's Rails and Delaney's Delight. 
So each one of the grandkids picked a quilt. How do you get a half a grandkid? <laughs> it's still percolating. <laughs> we don't know what it is yet. Uh, this is a jelly roll quilt. And again, it is a jelly roll strip with a triangle sewn on one end and a triangle sewn on the other end, and then you just sewing strips together. You cannot mess it up, I promise. So come by and check it out. Much more difficult looking. Uh, it's a very traditional pattern, but it has ugly Y seams in it. I'm fairly allergic, and you can't do it without Y seams. So. so Paisley Park is the new line. We have four new patterns, and then you can pre-order the book, which will be done, we hope, by the 4th of July. Uh, my birthday's on the 5th, so I told the, the printer that that would be a wonderful birthday present to have them to the shops by then. So stop by and you can see all the projects for that as well. Um, I'm Lori Simpson of Minnick and Simpson, and Polly Minnick, my sister's not here. So um, when she is not here, I can tell you that she's older than I am, <laughs> and really much older than I am. <laughs> That's about all I have to say. <laughs> Um, the collection we have here is called Lexington, and it's blues and creams and a little bit of these golds. And this quilt is called True Blue. And in my demo on Sunday, I'm going to demonstrate big stitch hand quilting. And so it's only half quilted, and I'll be able to finish the rest of that quilt on Sunday easily. Um, big stitch hand quilting, I could, that's easily a weekend project, hand quilting that. This is called Blue Garden, made with Lexington, and this is a fat quarter quilt. All the blocks are made with fat quarters, just you need yardage for the border. And that can easily be a fused applique, or I, the way I did it, um, kind of like an English paper piece of applique, I based it around the cardboard template in the pattern and applique it down. This was my layer cake quilt, it's the pattern that uh, Lisa gave us all to use. And can you say, see what's different about mine? Uh, what mine is, is I read the directions wrong and uh, the blocks are all cut to my size. So mine is only about 80% size of all the other ones. <laughs> But I love it. <laughs> so, and it's not the pattern writer makes fault or the pattern maker's fault because it's a very clearly written, easily read pattern. <laughs> Isn't that one of the great things about quilters? We don't have a problem at all telling how we did everything wrong. Right? <laughs> start off and say everybody has their little place in the motor world, and I'm one of those people who can't sell and don't care. <laughs> I can't. Photoshop really well though. So I didn't get the memo that said Tammy would make your quilt. <laughs> I didn't get the memo that said it could be five inch blocks. But I thought I did it anyway. I thought, what the heck? And so here's mine. And the reason and I also didn't read down, didn't scroll down far enough to see I was supposed to use a solid. But uh, I was very the reason I wanted to do this was I use the five inch squares and cut the ten inch squares and fourths is because this line has such a nice range of shades and I don't often get that. My specialty is, is uh, reproduction quilts <laughs> and often they, because we're using historic colors, they, they tend to be in the same family. You have to go get your shades from Mark's line or something, your lighter shades. <laughs> so this is all from one line and it has quite a variety of, of different shades, which is great. It's called Richmond Reds. You'll see there's green in it, but it's Richmond Reds. Like most of my reproduction lines, it's mid-19th century, and the fabrics are from either my collection or Mark and uh, the Moda collection of swatch books from 1840, <coughs> maybe up to 1890. So we can't call it Civil War because it's pretty much broad end of the 19th century. I have been, for years I've been trying to make this pattern. It's a plaid. I saw it once in a quilt, and I thought, this is my opportunity, but it's still, you don't see it as a plaid, do you? I'm still working on it. I, I'm just gonna work on it some more. So as I say, 
I don't really sew very much. And while I do want to get this worked out, I'll give it to a stitcher to do a nice job that, where they match up. I, I'm a, an author. I have a new book for CNT that is called Emporia Rose about the quilters who did applique in Emporia, Kansas in the 1930s. So that'll be a pattern book and a, a block of the month and many different applique ideas. Um, not using my 19th century fabrics because they mostly uh, use solids. And that will be out in June, so I can't show it to you. There is no copy. They pretend to have one in the CNT booth, but I bet if you look inside it says yada 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 yada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Edita Setar from Lunch Basket Quilts. And yes, two weeks before market is crazy. And I'm talking crazy. And after 21, I work with my husband Michael, that normally is here helping me, but now he's setting up the booth right now. Uh, we are on a speaking terms, you know, two weeks before market is crazy, and after 21 years of being married, divorce is out of question. <laughs> I did not think about killing him. <laughs> or, and speaking of crazy, and my fabrics, I have a collection called Heart Content. So the first quote that I want to share with you is for my sweetheart that is not here right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love your voice. Oohs and ahs. I just love it. I like your likes on my Instagram. I love you guys. Yeah, let's spread some love. Joanna gave you fabrics. Um, me and my sister got you the two and a half inch rulers. I got you a little heart stencil. Oh, so now you can make quilts with it. And come over to my booth. I have one for as many as I can handle of you in my booth. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to hand just some now, but come over to my booth. One for everybody. Sure. Sure. Some love. And speaking of love, you know, one of my favorite loves is. Um, it's not this quilt here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding. One of my biggest loves is Mora fabrics and Aurofil threads. And this season, just like Joanna has a little tiny kid with threads, two and a half inch uh, low candy in it, and a free pattern, I got a chance to do that to you, uh, uh, that as well. And I made this Aww. quilt for you guys. So a little love to you from me, because Heart Content, my fabric collection, is all about being happy with what you got. So that's for you guys. And you can find it, it's exclusively sold through United Notions. Uh, you cannot get the pattern any other way, but getting through the, uh, with the little kid. And what I did is, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I know you for so many years. I <laughs> slapped myself a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just so excited to see you. What I did is I used my fabrics and I used the threads to uh, stitch the pieces together, applicate with the threads. All the colors are just complementing so nice. And you can do this on the smaller quilt or the larger one. So back into crazy. Lisa, please oh, help. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm used to it. I do this at home. I said, Michael, Michael, Michael. Speaking of crazy, I could not decide. Should I put the brown on the outside? Should I put the yellow in the inside? Should I put the blue someplace else? I took my fabrics, laid them around, flipped them around, laid them around. And I count them, and you needed uh, 18 darks to get the design going. No, I didn't have 18 in my layer cake. I only had 16, so I was like, okay, if I take two lights, cut them, I can blend some lights into it. By the time I cut it, sew it, and I just lay my squares, make a cut, put one to the back, sew it, make a cut. Blocks came out to eight and a half cut, and went beautifully into this quilt, and I put my laser cut applique pieces. Those are the laces, the one that you get a solid applique piece. And we have a, a those in our booth. You can come in and order. You get 10% discount if you order them at the market. So come on up. This, those are beautiful to add a little bit flavor to the quilt and a little bit applique. 
And speaking of applique and batiks and uh, fabrics, a um, few weeks ago, three weeks ago, I came, I, I went to Indonesia to hand dye some fabrics with the guys that make your batiks. And I tell you what, if you have not purchased the batiks from Moda, you need to think about it. This is group of my favorite batiks essentials. They are soft and beautiful. And when I visit the guys, I was just thrilled. They let me put my arms up to here in, fa in color and play around and do some fun stuff. Oh. And yes, you can put it around you. See <laughs> how quickly I'm dressed? That wasn't enough. Those batiks are fabulous, and I constantly think about different ways of using them and putting them in different projects. Over the years, I have thought of children's book, some way to invite and explain to them how quilts are made. And my dream just came true. This spring, we have a brand new children's book. This is a little rainbow nest book. It tells a story about mommy waiting for a baby, and as she's waiting, she's making a quilt. Some scraps her flew out the window, and the bird took the opportunity to make her little rainbow nest where she lay her three eggs. Coincident, I have three children. <laughs> yes. And at the time, I felt like I was laying it down and nurturing them right in the nest. The book is illustrated all with my batiks. And the um, girl, the illustrator, she's an illustrator for American Girl doll, Dolls books and Disney books. I know, baby, I got you a quilt. <laughs> <laughs> I know, your mama is gonna have to make it for you. <laughs> when you finish reading the wonderful story, you will find a pattern in the back of the book how to make that quilt. Oh. And that's the rainbow net. Oh. <laughs> so essentials are fabrics that you are able to order, carry in your store, you'll be able to make a kit. You will then bundle beautiful baby book with your kit and any grandma, any mama that is waiting or expecting or want to make a quilt can purchase that. Directions are in the back, like I said, for the a quilt. And the pages are beautifully illustrated using batiks and drawings. Okay, this wasn't enough. I can see in your faces that you're just not impressed at all. <laughs> Because I thought of the babies, I didn't think of you girls. So we have a second book that comes out this uh, summer, and it calls A Handful of Scraps. May I please see one of the quotes? Y'all be ready. Oh. 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 And we are back to heart content. Be happy with what you got. Bunch of girls, 30 of them, yes, you Debbie, you Debbie, you Lisa, and many other girls that are in this room have sent me half square triangles. So this is mine? This is the one. Yes. They sent me half square triangles, I cut them, put them into the border of the quilt. Now, do you recognize something? Right here, I took my heart content fabric, cut them out, and add them to my applique. So don't think of your fabric as just cutting blocks, setting it in. Use them as an additional tool that you can emphasize as some kind of design. Like in this case, I want to add a little bit more flavor to applique. Of course, I love to have a lot of time and needle turn applique, and we will have that direction in our book. But since I don't have luxury of a lot of time, I do have to make a dinner for Michael. <laughs> you know I want to be on a better term, terms than just the speaking terms. <laughs> I decided to fuse my uh, uh, broderie cut. So I just fused the piece of usable webbing, cut it around my flowers, and just uh, arranged them like a bouquet around the center. Well, that quilt just had the center. That was enough for me. In the scrappy, uh, it, the book will call, it, it's called handful of scraps. You just get a handful of scraps and start creating. We have 14 different quilts that are patterns. We have over 30 quilts that are antique quilts. I have paired up with the Grand, uh, uh, Grand Rapper, uh, Rapids. 
museum and they allow me to borrow six of the quilts to put it in the book and as well as I have a handful of my antique quilts come over to my booth let me see what booth I mean it 329 you get to see many of the quilts that I have made for the book I brought three of the antique quilts to show you. I hope you would enjoy it and decide that you want to grab your handful of scraps and made into a wonderful project. In this case, I have the English piecing, laser cut applique, fusible applique, that's jelly bean package. That's the same jelly bean package that I've done your album quilt, put it in the center, put it on the outside. And yes, if you would like to, you can sign up on Craftsy and take a class with me how to do that. Or if you don't want a laser cut, yes, AccuCut has a new dice with my designs and you can cut your appliques and add it to it. And I want to send a message to you with this quilt. And what better place to send a message to you than on the paper that you will do an English piecing with it. I have my own paper and you get 100 pieces in a package and every single piece have a different message that I want to tell you about. And this one says love. Aww. This is Brigitte Heitler from St. Schick, from Germany. And I'm introducing my new line, Figures with Moda. And by the way, I brought someone with me. This is Wiebke from Germany. And on days when the phone rings and there's someone on the end and says, I'm a student, I'm looking for a company to work with. I am um, familiar with Illustrator, Photoshop, sewing, designing. And by the way, I'm interested in long and quilting. Then you think, life is good. <laughs> figures is based on stamped numbers. That's the theme and is accompanied by graphic floral prints, daisies and I don't know how to say that. Then Davians or how do you say yeah. that? Yeah. And then we have stash builders like the dots and the pluses and buttons. And the colors, colorway is aqua, navy, linen. And to warm it up, we have a little bit saffron and salmon in it. So my, my version of the blog we got per email was, well, we, we are allowed to give it a personal twist. And I want to give it a modern personal twist. So I added in the corners, and then, uh, well, the middle started to go in, but instead there is a flash. And then all the, um, the corners had to turn in a huge flash, so Michael is now a big flash. <laughs> <laughs> and it's grouped by colors, and quilted with numbers, and uh, as a reference of the color group, the backing shows also four different colors. Isn't that really different? Same pattern? Yeah. 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 My, my new line comes with a honeycomb brill cut. So I developed the pattern for the honeycomb, which is called hexagon brilliance. And um, if you are a little bit familiar with my pattern style, you know that I'm lazy cutting quilt kits. So I always do um, just a brick cut and a solid background. So I have just one cut from the bolt and cut my brick cut and I'm done. So <laughs> this hexagon quilt uses my, my standard recipe. <laughs> Yes, 
12 gives us also a layer cake. And I will do a tutorial on Sunday with Moda how to piece in the circles into the background. This is all piece, not applique. And since the pattern is called playing with balls, the back side says also playing. Oh. For the larger part of the background, I use the piece of my sphere line, which I think looks well with the new current line. <coughs> then I did a Facebook survey and asked for what would you like me to design and lots of people uh, answered I want to have quilts for little ones, kids or babies and also so I, I designed this one, this is machine applique and it uh, has it, what, I, what I would like to transfer is we should encourage our children to believe in their dreams and help them to achieve them. And because I want to help them, so I stitch a little airplane on the back side to, to be closer, faster in heaven. <laughs> and then I develop more for little children. I have those fabric toys. My, my daughter actually is a student of biology and she's obsessed with all kinds of animals. And then I have asked her to draw me the, how is it called, the Surround. surroundings? Because I'm not so talented in painting animals, I'm more the kind of Photoshop girl. So um, she said, well, everyone knows about cows, cats, bunnies, dogs, sheep, horses, you know, name it. Let's do water world. We have a whale. Aww. <coughs> Aww. Something I don't spell the name. <laughs> Starfish and a little sea. <laughs> so I did so many things for little children that someone was asking, well, is there something is there something going on this year? And before I left Germany to go to this market, my son told me he will become father. <laughs> and I <laughs> 